I was born in uh, Sarajevo. That was the capital town of uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina, which was a part of uh, former Yugoslavia. In 1992, I have to say that uh, the country was free. I was concentrating on uh, doing my studying and uh, spending the time with the friends. That was a very nice time. In 1992, a war started. One uh, morning, we were sleeping in, in a school that was a kind of safe environment, and I had to go to my house just across the street, and I had my son in, in my arm, and snipers was shooting. So I chose to find a way to offer him better life and not stay in completely madness. It was the hardest things I had to do. Leave my parents and uh, my hometown, and we decided to come to Canada. When I was a kid, what I want to, to be, I was always thinking about uh, sharing my knowledge, my experience with everybody, sharing in any possible way. So obviously, all those things were leading me towards doing one thing, towards being a teacher. She's definitely inspired me on so many levels. Um, I don't even think she can really realize. Uh, I've told many friends and colleagues and people that I work with and, and people I know that uh, she's a remarkable individual and an incredible woman. She's constantly learning uh, and then applying, and then applying and then learning some more. So. She has brought that uh, a huge amount of energy and inspiration to the department and to the field actually of power engineering. The basic premise behind power engineering, we want to generate some power. So to generate power, you turn a generator. How do you turn that generator? Through a turbine. You can turn that turbine through hydroelectric power, that's using water to turn the turbine, or you can turn that turbine with steam. That will turn the turbine, turn the generator, push the power out onto the grid. Power engineering is the future of the world today. I mean, energy is the future of the world today. And clearly, Sonia is um, part of um, bringing power engineering forward. I do want to do my job in the best possible way. And my job is to guide those young people in a way to use the knowledge. And it doesn't matter at this point, is that about the thermodynamics, heat transfer, or anything else. But it is about overall knowledge, overall thirdness for knowledge. So guide them that if they need to wake up in the morning, they have to do the things which they like to do, uh, not just because somebody told them to do. So that desire to be the best is one thing which we need to teach the new generation. I think she combines academic interest with a strong personality and an excellent delivery method. She's a perfect teacher. She has um, uh, done an awful lot of things in new technology, but probably the most important thing she does is she cares about her students, she treats them like their family. Earlier on in the, in the year, she really pushed me to finish and challenged me and said, how bad do I want it? Because there was a couple times, a couple points when I really wanted to quit and give up and she made me really realize that I have to fight for it and I could do it and she believed in me and that was so important. So she gave me a really big hug when I told her that I had uh, passed uh, these couple of difficult challenging courses and it felt like my mom hugging me. <laughs> in my life the greatest accomplishment is my son and my marriage. I'm happily married for uh, 30 years. Everything else is a kind of a byproduct of uh, marriage and being a mother. I love her. I would be here with her so for so many years that, uh, that so of course I'm proud. She always had a tendency to be the best in what she does. I didn't know her in high school, but I know for sure that she was the best student in her generation, and she was the best at our university. That's the way she is. After the long days, uh, we'd like to take a walk. So we'd like to be close to water. So it seems like, you know, water brings that peace, you know, to us. 
when I jump in the water, I feel free from a lot of things, you know, obligations. The swimming is another challenge, which when I accomplished, I feel good. I, I went through the worst thing, war, and second thing was uh, 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 cancer. I uh, diagnosed with the cancer 10, uh, 10 years ago, and um, I have to share with people that I didn't even feel frightened. After the surgery, I went there and uh, her doctor told me that chances that she will live are only 25 percent. Yeah. So <laughs> I guess I got more scared than she was. Uh, I was in the same time, I'm receiving uh, my chemotherapy, I was writing the thesis. So I don't find that as uh, something uh, uh, fabulous, I just find that as a way of uh, fighting for, uh, for life. I had one thing in my mind and that was uh, I have to survive because uh, I have to be around my son when he graduated through high school and we, I was absolutely sure that he's going to go to university and that happened. We like to have our coffee in a little coffee shop in uh, North Vancouver. And that's the place where we sit together and we share what happened that day, what hard time we're going through, what happy time we're going through, share our thoughts and uh, make decisions. Of what we're gonna do in the future, of what we're going to visit. And that's the place where Andre uh, let us know that he would like to move to Halifax. So that place is the kind of place where we have a good and bad memories. He's doing the same thing as I did, sitting in the same lab where I did, and sitting in the same chair, same room, doing uh, uh, his master in mechanical engineering. The one thing which makes 6,000 kilometers, like 600 meters, is uh, technology. And I'm very thankful to anybody who actually discovered that, that uh, I can see my son every single moment I want, and I can see his face so that I know that he's doing well. Have fun, love you too, bye. And I see that he's good, then I'm fine. I can go to bed and sleep. As far as relationships go, I'd say that she's much more than just a parent to me. We're close, if not best friends. That she's been such a huge influence in my life. Um, I'm very thankful for everything that she's provided me in my life. Probably don't tell her that enough, but I love her very much. Being successful at the work, which I enjoy every single moment, I think I couldn't ask for, uh, for more. I'm one happy person, that's for sure.